All right, cool. I think we are online. Let me just post this into the Discord as I tend to do. Hold on, I'm going to have to mute this because I'm going to knock into my mic and it's going to be bad if I don't. All right, cool. All the issues solved, I think. <sighs> Dark Souls 2, here we are. Man, the lighting, <laughs> nice. Nice lighting. It's like, can't see much. Listen, it's all good. Um, it's just how it is. It's 9 p.m dark outside um we are back with the base level fists only challenge run not fists only but fist weapons only challenge run hey Izmo, how's the fisting going fisting is going pretty good um obviously uh the thing that's a real challenge with this build is the hp or lack of hp but i think we'll in the end i'll be able to deal decent damage um i don't know how bosses like i don't know fume knight are gonna go probably later down the line my adaptability is gonna be just killing me yeah it's pretty decent i only have them up to plus six too but i mean these are you know, kind of low tier enemies. Hey, Nuke Skywalker. Evening fisticuffs? Exactly. That's what we're doing. Just punching shit. Oh, yeah, I have some people to thank. Uh, Groove Shoes, K Byte 64B, and Godboy Leak. Thank you for the follows. Really appreciate it. 86 followers, man. I'm like, really? The 100 is gonna be a big one. I mean, I remember how it was when I got to 100 subs on YouTube. That was like ages ago. Uh, it's like a new journey. I'm really enjoying Twitch. I've said this before, but I'm having a lot of fun here. Uh, no cap. Oh shit, and you know what? There's a Forlorn invasion here, isn't there? Yep. There is. Because of course there is. Oh, game. Did you see that? He fucking... Okay. Dark Souls 2. He like fucking turn around mid-air. You guys remember that old meme? Like, who's gonna win? One giant armored warrior with a giant sword or one half-naked fisticuffs boy? I think I know what the answer is. Oh, come on, that was bullshit, but we get a backstab. For back, back. This game is on that bullshit streak. Plus, as determined in the previous Forlorn fight, you really cannot stagger this guy. Uh, for some reason. He has big boy armor. Okay, before I accidentally use a gold pine, I'm gonna de-equip it. So yeah, I'm used to it at this point though. Listen... As you guys know, I've played Dark Souls 2 a lot in my time. So I have been accustomed to all the Dark Souls 2 BS. So it doesn't even affect me. Uh, 
All right. And this is where you have to like go around, right? Before you can get to the bonfire, you need the key. Wait, there's dogs here? This must be a scholar thing because I sure as shit don't remember dogs being here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> that run cycle. Did you see that? This game is funny. So anyways, how's everybody doing? On this fine Tuesday evening slash morning slash whatever time it is where you are. It's been raining like crazy here for the past hour or so. I got my AC on, but the rain stops, I'll go and open my window. Let the air in. Or not. Okay, did I just... No. I thought I got myself into trouble. But that's a hard yet. See, this is why, you know... The thing is, no leveling... Oh, shit. There's thunder. Uh, no leveling challenges are always fun. Oh, yeah, there is another invasion. But, you know, this game you can kind of cheat because... If you don't use your souls to level... You basically always have access to... 99... Uh, fucking hell, she has a lot of HP. To 99 uh, heals. Okay. I think I might have figured out a tactic. What a bitch. Get on my level. No, 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 no. Trying to invade me. That finger wag looks really weird on the webcam. Did it, it fucks up the perspective. If I put my finger out, it like distorts shit. You know. That was the hardest invasion in the game. I barely made it through that. All right. I'm trying to figure out where the key is because I legit don't remember. Okay. Am I about to... So if I die to this guy... Oh yeah, and they put these mage guys here. Oh no, they they were here. I think. They definitely were. But they, they just don't respawn. That's why you have to go to the boss to farm the lizard staff. Man, I was dedicated back in them old days. Uh, I farmed for this fucking lizard staff for like, I don't even know how long. Uh, you get this in the Executioner Chariot boss room. Uh, where these sorcerers actually respawn. And I don't know how long I spent, but I spent like fucking ages just farming. Uh, you know, going to Executioner's Chariot, doing the run, warping back out. Uh, it was crazy. But I got it, the lizard staff. It's a cool looking staff as well. <sighs> of course I would die like that. Of course. Couldn't have a normal death, could I? With my fucking like talking about the lizard staff ass. Instead of focusing on the game. God damn.
That was a low point. We are going to ignore that. His running attack is pretty nice. Not gonna lie. Oh, I don't think I'll ever be prepared for Dark Souls 2 tracking. Okay. Can I run through this? That's the question. Probably not. I mean, maybe I can. Maybe, maybe. When did I get this? I didn't even like register that I got this. Whatever. Who cares? Oh yeah. Well, yeah, it was good. We made uh, Reuben. Or corned beef. More like homemade corned beef. And then grilled it into a Reuben. Yeah, that backyard is... It's high tier, you know. Uh, and the funny thing is, like, my dad and my uncle built it. Uh, so it's all homemade. Homemade, you know. Basically. Last year. We did it last year. It was a lot of work. But hella worth it. Just because, you know. See, the good thing about having, like, a roofed backyard... Or like an area that has a roof. That you know, like a lot of times during the summer you'll have like... Uh, weather where it's good, it's nice and warm outside, but it's raining. And if you have like a roof, you can just be out. Even like that. So yeah, honestly... The backyard patio is one thing that I don't mind flexing. Uh, did I just... Yeah, that, that's a flex for sure, having that. Okay. You're gonna get... No! Oh, once again! I always... Listen, we were talking... Okay, I still died, but we were talking about this last stream. I always fucking survive with like one or two hit points. Yeah, living in the city. Listen, I know. I lived in I lived in New York for 6 years, so I know what it's like not having a backyard. It sucks. Um I cannot believe I once again survived with one or two hit points. Always happens. Anyways. Someday though, right? I didn't unlock this. Fuck. It just depends. It depends on where you live, you know. Like, here, like, in Hungary, property prices are absolutely insane. Like, you know, this house I live in, like, my, my grandparents moved here. Uh, this house was built by my grandparents in... Well, the late 70s, basically, where when this town that I live in was basically just like uh, a little bumfuck town outside of the capital. And now it like really developed, you know, and house prices around here are crazy because it's the suburbs. Um... But you're also like 
20 minutes from the city center and you basically ha have access to all the major highways in the country. So like my grandparents, they knew their shit, uh, whether intentional or unintentional, you know. They really hit the spot. Okay, this boss. This should this is uh, this is a bitch boss. Like this is. This shouldn't be difficult. Power up them fists. I love that the fist is like this big, but he still does the whole animation. All right. I don't remember which order you're supposed to do this in, but. I know the sorcerer one spawns the bone wheels. I think that's the one you want to leave to last. Yeah. Pretty sure. Oh yeah, this one is the armored skeletons. Yeah, the thing is, these guys, skeletons are really weak to blunt damage and uh, this weapon does blunt damage. So it's all good. Oh, hello. What the hell even happened there? <laughs> what? Okay, before I get killed. Like, dying to this boss would be a no-no. Okay, I lost track. I was killing you, I think. Or was I killing you? Uh oh, okay. I'm about to die to the skeleton lords for the second time. I think I'm killing the wrong one. Or not? Whatever. Bone wheels in this game are low tier. No, I killed the right one. Listen. Dark Souls 2 Bone Wheels ain't got nothing on Dark Souls 1 Bone Wheels. We all know that. There's a lot of these guys. Man, this boss fight is shit. Uh-oh. Somehow I still managed to get my heal out. Damn. Okay. <laughs> cool. I know this is not the most elegant tactic, but hey. Man, this boss fight is awful. Seriously. But it's all good. It's over quickly. That's it. Two? Okay. I will take that as a victory. I'm not sure if that can even be called GG's because that was so pathetic. But whatever. Sometimes you just gotta look at this character. Like how he keeps the buff stance as well. I like how somehow I managed to find like a regular ass pants to wear, basically. I feel like it adds to the theme. Uh, 
I have a lot of shit in my inventory. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna go buy more things. And you guys are on the quiet side today. Just observing. Says the guy who never comments or very ra rarely comments on Twitch chat, in Twitch chat when I'm watching streams. Why did I... this guy isn't... I don't need this guy. Her on the other hand, we need a lot. Whatever. Just clear her shit out. Okay. Do I want to do this? Harvest Valley? It's not my favorite area. I guess whatever. We gotta get through them eventually. It's like... It's not like we, we have much of a choice. Let me just move this a bit. More down. Is that too much down? No, that's okay. That's okay. I'm not sure if that improved anything, but... Whatever. She... The, the thing I always found weird about her is that she's just, like, dressed as a regular ass human. As in, like, not medieval at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you sell? Jack shit. Uh, I'm trying to get her to move. Cool. Because she is actually useful, as we all know. But yeah. How am I gonna fight these guys? In the swamp. No, it's not even a swamp. In the poison gas. Guess we just gotta get in there. And poison is like no joke in this game. That's the thing. Like seriously no joke. Okay, there's actually a lot of useful stuff here. Gotta get it. But again, hey Dean, what's up? Yeah, of course, it's on. It's on the playlist. Uh, in fact, Rayman is probably starting—not probably, definitely starting tomorrow. If I don't get killed here, um, I just looked, and it's like it's like a Euro on you Play Store. Uh, so. No, no, drink. What is this idiot doing? He's just like, you know, he's dying of poison and he's just like, he's just like, that's how this motherfucker drinks. But yeah, it's like, the game is like one euro 30, so it's like ridiculously cheap. I'll get it and definitely play it. The funniest message I've ever seen here is somebody wrote, listen Skelly or Skeleton or something like that. Yeah, listen Skeleton. Yeah, he's got the tactics. He knows what's up. Listen. Listen. 
Oh, 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 am I dead? Drink, bitch. <sighs> it's all good. Yeah, PS5, which they still haven't announced the price for, right? I think it's still not officially confirmed. Hopefully soon. Yeah, no word. I think they're holding out with Xbox. Waiting for each other. Yeah, just whispered. I heard, I still heard 450 USD. Oh, Ghosts of Tsushima. Yeah. That's a good one. I, I heard it's good. Yeah, the Mexican standoff of console pricing, I think. That's what's going on. Um, where it's like they're waiting. Because the first one that's going to announce their prices are sure as shit going to get backlash. So it's like, you know, obvious solution is just not to announce it. Hey, Grim Reaper, what's up? Yeah, Ghost of Tsushima, I've been thinking about. Uh, it looks good, honestly. The combat, I heard, is good. It's definitely on the list. Witcher 3, I've actually not played it. I know it's good. Everybody tells me that it's really, really good. Oh, hey. This is actually a sick piece of armor. It's just one of those games. It's like Skyrim, you know, that I never got around to playing. This is a badass looking piece of armor, actually. It's like a little titty protector or something. It's a leather tank top, like this is even more chatty of a gear setup than we've already had. Yeah, I guess it's, I've seen, I mean, I've seen gameplay of Tsushima and that's what it is basically, like you ride around combat, I guess the combat system is similar. I mean, I've played Witcher 1. That's the one I've, I've actually, oh. okay, I don't remember, do crystal lizards respawn when you quit and reload? I think they do. I think this is one of those Souls games. Because it's all different, you know. Guess we'll find out. I just did a giant yawn. Nope. Nope. It's not one of those Souls games. It's the other type of Souls game. Maybe I'm just bonfiring. Yeah. Okay. Seriously. Okay. So crystal lizards are a challenge with fist weapons. I think we've just stumbled upon a revelation. This is gonna take a little bit of time. Maybe this one. Has anyone ever had breakfast? Seriously, you cannot hit these motherfuckers. Maybe the running attack. Ever had breakfast? I didn't know Wendy's did breakfast. They. It must be a new thing because... I When I was in the States, I don't remember Wendy's having breakfast. Oh, fuck. 
listen, this is, this ain't exactly going the best, is it? Just hit it. Fuck. What what is even going on? You know what? It's good, I can imagine. Like Wendy's in general is pretty good. That was like kind of the I always felt like, you know, Wendy's is kind of the in-between spot, you know. It's not on the level of like a five guys or uh jump jump i cannot believe it i had it and i failed the jump attack you know it's like not on the level of five guys or what's the other one they're all over new york i don't remember you know the burger the famous burger spot the other one not five guys the other one and but when this is also not trashy like you know Finally, like Burger King or McDonald's. KFC has breakfast here in Europe. I don't know. I, I don't remember KFC having breakfast in the States. Yeah, Smash Burger. Man, a good Smash Burger is pretty good. What a Burger as well. That's a good one. You have got to be shitting me. Like... Okay. This is harder than any of the bosses we fought so far. Legit. Big Kahuna, yes. The Big Kahuna... ...is awesome. Some tasty burgers, you know. Okay, you know what? Fuck this. I'm not doing this. I'm rage quitting this section. Okay, well, thank you for pivoting 180 instantly. Oh, fuck. What the hell? Oh, he got poisoned. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, what I was saying is KFC has a breakfast here. That's pretty good. Because KFC is not trash in Europe, unlike how it is in the States, where it is trash. I just realized, I'm coming back here because I just realized that I forgot. Uh, fuck, where is the entrance? I'm gonna get poisoned. Whatever. That There's like a bunch of shit in here. Including a flask shard, if I remember correctly. And Gavlan. Unbelievable. I got parried. Yeah, apparently it's new. Wendy's break. Let me look at Wendy's breakfast. It's just gonna make me sad that there is no Wendy's here. Uh... Wendy's, yeah. Wendy's breakfast. Let's see what these boys have. Uh, 
croissants, biscuits, classics, coffee. Okay. They have combos. Okay, let's look at croissants. Order now, even though obviously, yeah, you know, I'm gonna order and just fly it out here, bitch. Don't share my location because <laughs> it's, it's gonna ban me. Maple bacon chicken croissant, bacon egg and Swiss croissant. Okay, okay, let's let's stop looking at this. Um, and let's not, oh man, frosty chino. Man, the Wendy's Frosty is top tier. And no one can argue with me on that. How do I keep missing the entrance? Hmm. What do you sell? I don't know if I should buy anything. A raw stone. Get a raw deal. Ha! That's a joke. I'm like 90% sure this is a flash shard. No, it's a fire seed. Fuck. It's not what I wanted. Oh well. Hey, chunk. Am I gonna get blasted by some magic? No, no, I'm not. That can happen here with these dudes. Okay, listen, we're going to try the crystal lizards once again. And... If it doesn't work, I'm just moving on because I've been wasting hella time here. Okay. Yeah, no. It just doesn't work. It just don't work. Frosty coffee. It's too good. Again, now I'm just sad that there is no Wendy's here anymore. Because we used to have Wendy's. I remember having Wendy's. I could, yeah. Just get a weapon. Like a, the mace is pretty good against them. I think that's like the the speedrunner weapon. Uh, to kill them. This room is texture work. Is let's not even talk about it. Listen, there is only one covenant I can be in for this build. And it's this one. Like, there's just no competition with the other covenants. Yeah, I'll do that. Listen, I'll get the mace and kill those crystal lizards. I think I have like a magic mace or something which should do okay damage. Because damn do I want those upgrade materials. And this is not breaking the rules of the challenge because this is a utility thing. Instead of uh, getting through an enemy thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's like way easier. Uh, 
I don't know why I was being stubborn. This is way, way easier. Oh, and this is the one that drops into the poison. You know what? I don't care about that one. Uh, dropping into the poison is not worth it. Hey, Nightbot. Nightbot coming through. Shit. This is the most Dark Souls thing... Most Dark Souls 2 thing, as I, I should say. Ah, <sighs> this game. You need some patience for this game. Or maybe the running attack is the key. Hey, hey! Exactly. Just a lizard killer, nothing more. That's crazy. Oh, <laughs> okay. This attunement, or lack thereof. Okay, that's an interesting hitbox. Okay, that's not how physics works, but... So that one is gonna... Whoa, I knew it! I knew I was gonna accidentally use a fucking gold pine. I just had a feeling. I made it a weird sound as well. Okay, you know what? We might as well then go for it. The boss, I mean. Just like maximize the use of the gold pine. That was pretty cool. Speaking of, this is a thing that you can get in Rayman as well. There's a buff like this that turns your gloves golden. Okay. Hello, strangely pathetic damage. Am I gonna get rolled on? Yes, I am. Okay, that's an interesting attack. What what is this herd box? What is going <laughs> Okay. Am I stoned? How listen. I must have taken something. Okay, red tear stone. Saving my ass. Yeah, we need this red tear stone. He has a tail attack. I can't believe I died to the covetous demon. <sighs> Shit. Is that bad? How bad is that on a scale of 1 to 10? Dying to the covetous demon. It's pretty bad, right? It's all good.
Did you see that fucking 180 he did? Oh no. Watch this item management though. Don't watch this item management though. Watch that snipe. Right behind the giant butterfly? Okay, listen. I didn't expect to get roasted like this. On stream, live on air. On er. I'm only kidding. Damn. This area, for some reason, is like kicking my ass. Um, it kind of makes sense. Okay, so I think lightning might not be the solution for the covetous demon. Maybe let's try dark. That was insane. Okay, wait for this to fool to bust through. Yeah, he can poison himself. And let's go. Let's see if this does any more. That attack is absolutely insane. That makes no sense, that attack. Okay, that's better damage, I would say. Yeah, that's way better damage. Okay. Yeah. What the fuck is a fucking fish flailing around? I I guess he was okay, so he's resistant to lightning, probably also blunt damage. Because other enemies have taken a lot more damage from my fisticuffs. Okay. The thing I don't remember is what else is here. Because I'm like 90% sure there is a fuck. There's a flask shard here. Dark Souls 2. We'll ignore that death, honestly. No, 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 no. I didn't know he invaded here. So, like, what exactly determines whether he invades or not? Shit. Did you see that? That was quite a scene right there. Hold on. Don't worry, I got this. I got this under control. Okay, they're all stuck there. Can you, like, push each other off or do something here? Okay, thank you. In fact, that worked out extremely well. That is exactly what I was hoping for. 
I did not know he would insta die there. But the fact that he did is again very convenient. Cause I really didn't want to fight the forlorn again. If I'm gonna be honest with you. Before I accidentally use one. Don't... <sighs> Thanks, lock on. Mm. This area is chaos. Like, look at all this shit. I tried to roll out. I locked onto the guy on the floor who I didn't see. And instead of rolling to the side like I was going to, I rolled into him, allowing the dude to hit me. If that's not chaos, I don't know what is. But we managed the forlorn situation quite well. It's just the rest of this. Oh, come on. Actually, there's an easy way out. Okay. There is no easy way out. I've died more in this episode than I have up to now in this playthrough. Like, I've died so fucking much today. And I don't know why. Uh, it's just one of those areas. The poison, the fucking pivoting 180 enemies. I guess it's just how it is, you know. And he pushes me off. His giant fat body pushed me off. No fat shaming, of course, but... A little bit. Okay, smash the pots and poison yourself. I say as I poison myself too. What is going on? Like this area is... Listen. Normally this area is not a problem because you can just like survive all of this. But like with the fact that like four hits kill me. This area is absolutely fucking chaotic. Like there is shit flying at you from everywhere. Enemies blocking your path. Giant hitboxes. I didn't appreciate the, the challenge of this area before, maybe. Okay, so you can poison yourself. Thank you. You. God. Resident Evil Forum. Hadn't played too much of that game, honestly. Or at least, I mean, I've played it, I just don't remember that much. But there were some difficult sections of that game that I 100% remember. And the game is basically like a giant escort mission, isn't it? Okay. What does this do? I haven't even used a single Pharos Lockstone so far. So I feel like... I feel like this is acceptable. Poison Bite Ring. That was not worth it at all. Pear powder. 
I mean, at least I checked it out. I swear I used... I remember there being something more useful here. Maybe it's vanilla Dark Souls that I'm confusing it with again. Listen. Damn that health drain. It's fucking insane. The library, I do know, yes. The library is insane. Like OG Halo in general had had its moments, you know. I think. Halo in general, you know. Like playing on Legendary. I remember when I fired up Legendary as a kid. I was like, what the fuck? Maybe now if I went back, you know. I've been hardened by Dark Souls. I think that's still difficult, Legendary. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's like ambushes everywhere. I think I like l almost cannot avoid that attack because of the shockwave. No, don't pull it. Don't pull it. We don't want that. So that lifts the pot and it's actually bad for you then. Because these guys can't poison themselves, which is like the main way you get through here. Elites. Man, Halo has turned to shit, kinda, hasn't it? I haven't played the last two games, but I've seen them and I was not impressed, if I'm gonna be honest with you. They tried to modernize it too much. I mean, part of the fun of Halo was always that it kind of stuck to old school FPS roots, you know? You know, with the no running and all the other mechanics. But that's exactly what they took away from the new ones. Man, poison is absolutely insane in this game. It's like, literally. I like Reach, yeah. Fun fact, uh, they actually speak quite a lot of Hungarian in Reach. Because it was colonized, apparently, according to the Halo lore, to my knowledge, it was colonized by Hungarians. And uh, even in the game, they speak some phrases and everything. I remember I was surprised by that. Back when Reach came out. But that's a good one, yeah. I feel like that that one actually got the balance of the old gameplay and the new gameplay right. Am I gonna get poisoned? Yes, I am. Wonderful. Oh, and this game is difficult like this. Uh, yeah, it, it was cool. I mean, obviously, like, the accent is... Because it's still the voice actors doing it, and Hungarian is kind of like a difficult language to pronounce, but it's cool. And the book, because Halo Reach has a book. Uh, that one has even more in it.
It's pretty awesome. I like Halo lore. Uh, in general. That was an insanely quick death. I got eviscerated, you know. That's that's our word of the day. Nightbot once again. Nightbot is like my little champion, you know. He he's always <sighs> I feel like this is Did you see did you actually see that? Did you see what happened there? Unfair, I think. Yeah, Water Temple can eat a dick, if I'm gonna be honest with you. But that's like the classic. When people discuss asshole video game areas. This is, this is unbelievable. This guy's wiping the floor with me. How are you not poisoned? You are poisoned now. Okay, eat shit and die in the corner. Told you. Hey, that's a mannequin claw. That's a fist weapon. Yeah, of course. The thing about base level, you know. It limits you to what you can use. Because the mannequin claw is a dex weapon. We don't want to use filthy dex weapons anyways, do we? Okay, I didn't think he would follow. Okay, how screwed am I on a scale of 1 to 10? I think 10. Poison 2. Okay, perfect. It's what I wanted to see. <laughs> okay, listen. That was a weird laugh, but hey, before you go criticizing me, that was not intentional. What's going on? Like, how many times have I died in the past hour? We got to do a death count just for this fucking episode or session or whatever. What the? Jesus. What? Where did that arrow come from? Okay, you are poisoned. Exactly. Got them both. Except these fat hammer dudes are, are not as, you know, majestic as Shao Kahn. Man, I loved the Shao Kahn chapter in Mortal Kombat. What was the expansion called? Listen. The expansion's name was so generic for MK11 that I forgot its name. Ascension? I, I think it was called Ascension, right? I remember it was sounding super generic, but one thing I will say, the Shao Kahn Sindel chapter was so fucking cool. Because, you know, I think the best part of MK is the villains and that chapter really delivered I mean the voice actor for Shao Kahn is fantastic does a really good job and Sindel as well 
Aftermath, yeah. Okay. See, that's how generic it was. Essential. It's not... <laughs> Might as well, you know. You know, these are like the classic video game retribution, uh, revenge, any R word is prime video game subtitle material, you know. Is this actually a wall? No, it's not. It looks like it. Listen. I don't blame you for placing that message. Oh. That was insane. Did you actually see that? That was insane. Does sound like some Naruto shit that I got inflicted by. It's not inflicted by, there's no such thing. You know what I mean. You get the words that I'm saying. Yeah, poison is no joke. The only thing I don't like about this, and I've said this before in the past, that if you make poison this strong, like, what's the point of having toxin as well? Like, they're basically the same thing. They're both a death sentence if you get hit by one. So it's like, why even have a differentiation? But, you know, it's not easy to balance because the thing about poison is that you can basically ignore it in the other Souls games. Oh, fuck, I wasted an Estus. Whatever. I don't know. Listen, I'm not a video game dev. I don't know shit about shit. That was all stun lock. I think I think this is the hardest I've ever struggled in fucking earthen peak like this area i tend to just like absolutely demolish and this is this is no joke which kind of has me worried if i'm gonna be honest about things like the dlcs you know like we might be in trouble a very nicely synchronized death No, you cannot just like... Okay, I got into the exact problem as before. That I've now attracted all the enemies onto me. Yeah, you cannot get around the shield dude. That's what I was trying to do. I... You are very correct. I should have done this earlier. Insane. just not happening today honestly I'm entering focus mode or something I sure as shit need to. 
because this is getting kind of insane. Oh, just backstab him. Come on. There we go. We got this. Yeah, that's how it is. It's weird because... Yeah, Blight Town was annoying, but... No, yeah, no, no, definitely. Yeah, Blight Town was annoying. I poisoned my own ass. I should have gotten more of these from Gavlan. He was selling them. That was all stun lock. <sighs> okay, okay, I'm getting annoyed now, but it's all good. No, no, we're we're staying chill. We're staying chill. No issues here. This is annoying that you cannot, like, you literally cannot skip any enemy in this area. Like, look at that. Like, look at it. Hmm. I should just get out of here and do something else, honestly, in terms of areas. Because this is clearly... This ain't it, chief. Yeah, I'm, I'm stopping this area because this is not fun. We have plenty of other places to go. Man, what, a, what an unfun... Like thing, it's all stun lock except for the last hit. But because of my zero adaptability, I like cannot roll out of the way. We're gonna have to come back here eventually, unfortunately. Maybe I'll be more of in a Quan mood, you know. Oh, and it feels good not to be there. That's for sure. That's all I can say. We'll get this shit done quickly. Should get the Chloranthi, right? But then the other thing is, like, my stamina recovers so quickly, anyways, that I'm not sure if it even matters. Cool. This is so much better already. Seriously. Onto your shit, bitch. Your ghost ass. Told you. Yeah, I should go for it. Yeah, I'll go back. It's so easy to get anyways. Yeah. 
Steel protection, yeah, definitely. That's like the good stuff, you know. I like don't know the layout of the scholar version of this area. It's the same for a lot of areas, but you know. Plus, you know, the other thing that's fucking me up sometimes with this playthrough is the fact that I was doing kind of like a fake speed run before. And you know, like so many times my instinct is just to like ru fucking run through everything, which is I guess a valid thing. Like we don't need to fight everything. Okay. That chloranthi though. This is where you normally get backstabbed, but if you know what's about to happen, just do this. And Naruto run out of there. Did I not have Chloranthi? Why did I think I had Chloranthi like the normal version? I don't know. Not that it matters. We all good now. Uh, there's definitely something here worth picking up, right? I remember there being something worth picking up here. Exactly, it does. It runs... It runs opposite of what should happen, you know. The will of the stash reigns supreme. You just gotta punch everything. That's the only solution. This is the fool that has the key, right? I think it is. If not, it's whatever. God, these guys have a lot of stamina. Or poise or whatever. Yep. And we're going straight back, because this is what unlocks her cell. What's her name? What's her name's cell? Hey, isn't it cheating that you guys can kind of have get in here? Pretty sure it is. Cool. Orn effects. I almost said corn effects. But that's like some mishmash of NPC names that I remember, kinda remember. All right. I think it's time for a boss. One that's not like a weird job of the hot slug thing. Instead, it's a wholly original 
completely unique to this game. Half scorpion, half lady. It's never been a boss design like this in any other game ever. <laughs> okay. Is he like Bob though? From Bob? I guess. If he had more like a bowl cut. Well, actually, no, he doesn't have a bowl cut, does he? He has kind of like just like a flat thing. This is more like a supreme gentleman boxer, you know. It's more the character archetype that we're shooting for here. That's why he's named Dudley. Oh, fuck. This is gonna be hell with no adaptability. Actually, you can kind of cheese. See, in the speedrun practice... Yeah, exactly. That's that's the thing we're going for here. Again, that's why he's named Dudley from Street Fighter because he's kind of that character type. In fucking it's in Third Strike, right? I think it's in Third Strike where he arrives in like a giant Cadillac. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Eating steak just always, you know, not even for breakfast. Just always steak. Yeah. Them boys preparing for the Nachka fight. You know how it is. Punch her ass. Okay, that's like no damage. That, that's not the spot. Because listen, here's the deal. Uh, according to the experts, there's like a spot where her attacks... Well, she basically gets stuck in a loop of attacks. And... It's unbelievable. This adaptability thing is fucked, like seriously. And I think it's her other side. Alright. Alright, Nachka. See how it is with your fucking insanely large hitboxes on all of your attacks. Hated Dudley. He was kind of annoying, wasn't he? And Sagat. Well, Sagat has. Sagat kind of plays into that, doesn't he, though? You know, zoners and all that. It's insane that I literally cannot dodge anything. Okay, I just dodged something. Mm. 
Does he? Does she spawn under you? I think she does, doesn't she? Where the fuck is she? I see the topic has shifted to breakfast, which I'm down to discuss. Man, I'm not dealing any damage to her. She's another one of those resistant to blunt damage, isn't she? Can you stop doing that, please? Thank you. She pivots around like crazy. That's a pretty good breakfast. Not sure I could do it for 20 years. I like eggs for breakfast, honestly. I prefer eating different things. It's like some top tier breakfasts out there, you know. KFC breakfast. <laughs> okay. I'm getting the fuck away from her. Oh, she's weak to fire. Damn. Okay. Man, that was a struggle. Kinda. I mean, that was not the easiest. Cool. We made it though. And like, perfectly on time, too. With the fucking one and a half hour mark. I don't, actually, I don't think I had charcoal pine. Yeah, I don't have charcoal pine. I should go and buy some. Exactly. Punch the giant scorpion to death, right? That's how it works. That's how we deal with insects. I, I bring out my supreme bo boxing gloves whenever there's an insect in the house, you know. Alright, boys. The time has come to wrap up this stream. This was a fun one. Um, yeah. Never mind the 50,000 deaths. Uh, you know, still, we are chugging along. I hoped to, to make a little bit more progress, but then again, listen, this is level one fist weapons, so we got to... We gotta cool our expectations. Anyways, I'll wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching and see you on Thursday. Yeah, peace out.